I think that the special elite police unit that is preparing to go and fetch Jacob Zuma from Nkandla, although I don't think they will need to because his daughter Duduzile said he's quite calm about this all. And given the choice of prison in Johannesburg and prison in the Nkandla region, he's going to choose prison in the Nkandla region. So there was no sense there that he is going to try and defy in any way. But if he does, if he does, if he sends out a signal to those brave soldiers of the MKMVA, Coal will be there. Coal will be there. In fatigues, which won't fit him terribly well anymore, trailing a line of debtors' letters saying, I'm here to defend my president, and the elite police unit will quake in their expensive Cuban boots, I tell you. The Jacob Zuma Foundation uh, says this. The legal team is studying the judgment. Once President Zuma has received legal advice, a full statement will be issued. (laughs) He's been given such bad legal advice, or he's been given decent legal advice and he's ignored it. And once he has received legal advice, a full statement will be issued. And doesn't this next sentence make your heart thrum with anticipation? It cannot be ruled out that President Zuma may soon address the nation. Watch the space. That's what it says. That's what it says in the official Twitter account of the J.G. Zuma Foundation. Should ENCA, Newsroom Africa, SABC, give Jacob Zuma access to the nation via... I I think no. My instinctive response is no. He's a man who's been sentenced to jail albeit for a civil offence rather than a criminal offence, but he's been sentenced to jail. And if he wants to address the nation via the Facebook page of the Jacob Zuma Foundation, well then, fine and good, and let people who want the spectacle tune in. But I think it would be wrong for any one of the traditional broadcasters to allow him space to address the nation. Uh, What does one say? It's a, it's a big moment. It is a big moment. Jacob Zuma is going to jail. Afternoon Drive with John Matham on Cape Talk.